Okay, these bags are getting out of hand. What's going on, everybody? I am Staccato Lubitz here, and welcome to my channel. Here I talk about luxury fashion, I talk about streetwear, I talk about sneakers, because sometimes you're just scrolling on the internet, you see something you like, and then you just scream out, I need it! So, today, as you can see by the title, we had a launch of the Paco Rabanne and H&M, excuse me, excuse me, I'm so sorry, Paco Rabanne, the Rabanne H&M collaboration. So, where did I start? Should I start with the positives of this? Because it, this is, I'm, I'm going to get into it. I'm going to get into it. But let's start with the positives. The H&M staff, hats off to you all. You all did a really good job. It was very organized as always. Um, the people were very nice. I, I, I love our H&M store in Chicago. It's, it's amazing. And also another positive, this is a really nice hanger. Really sturdy, really nice. You know, it says Raban H&M. It's very nice. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of it. So I did what I did the exact same way as when I went there for the Mugler H&M events. I got around like the H&M store, I wanna say about 6.15. And, you know, I was doing my typical, I'm gonna pass by, see how it is. If it's too crowded, I'm going off. I went there and I'm gonna show you. Okay, so today is the release of the H&M uh, Raban collaboration and you're not gonna believe this this picture was taken at 6 26 a.m. it looks like nobody cares about this <laughs> there was nobody there that was a red flag right there that was that was a red flag right there and I ignored it I was like okay well you know I'm gonna wait for a little bit. So I waited in the car for a little bit. It is currently 6.36. I mean, it just turned 6.36. And let me show you, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh. And um, I think I'm gonna go back out at about maybe seven, see if anything has changed. Cause it is kind of cold, y'all, it's kind of cold, so. I mean, I'm bundled up, but I don't know if it's enough. I waited in the car until about 6.50. I was like, okay, by the time I walk there, which actually probably was going to be like a two minute walk, but still, by the time I walk there, it's going to be about 7 a.m. Okay. I get there. I'm the first person in line. Never in my life have I ever been the first person in line for anything. Seriously, I haven't been the first person in line for, for much of anything. But I was the first person in line for this, and then two other ladies showed up. And it was just the three of us for like a long time. So we started conversing. It was like, oh, I thought it was starting at nine. But a lady was like, no, it starts at eight. I was like, okay, well, we're going to see. It started at eight. Okay, cool. As you can see on my wrist, there are no wristbands because wristbands were not necessary because nobody was hardly in line. I'm telling you, there was about group one, there was 15 of us. Group two that I saw that was outside when I left, there was maybe five people. Nobody cared about this. Nobody cared. Just us fools, us fashion fools. That's that's who cared about this. But here's where it gets worse. There was no men's line stuff. No men's clothing, none of that. In fact, ladies, I'm gonna tell y'all this. Let me get a little closer to the camera. Half of the inventory for the women's stuff wasn't even there either. You know, that silver kind of, you dig, that you saw the, um, the dress there it wasn't there the um other silver dress it wasn't there the the long skirt it wasn't there 
Let me see what was there. They had the women's, um, let me see, it was the, the, the blue with the red striped pants. They had the, the jacket, which I'm gonna get into in just a second. They had the, um, the military jacket with the, um, with the little the buttons, with the loop. They had the, the sweatsuit, it was women's sweatsuit. They also had the gold dress with the payettes, really sparkly and all that kind of stuff. Um, they had the 70s inspired outfit. It was a shirt dress with the, the bell bottom pants. That was actually very nice. That was very nice. I mean, I was feeling everything. Excuse me. I was feeling everything to see if it was good, if it felt right. Everything felt okay, with the exception of the sweatsuit. The sweatsuit felt a little H&M. I mean, I was in H&M, but I didn't expect H&M quality. Cause, but anyway, that felt a little H&M. The 70s inspired shirt dress with the matching pants, that felt great. It was heavy, it was nice, it was substantial. I, I think that's worth purchasing. Um, I didn't really get a chance to feel too many of the payettes um, stuff, but I know that the, the same payettes that are used on the dress is the same that's used on the, like the slides. It was okay, it was, it was fine. The pants for, that matched the military jacket, that was okay. It was all right. There was also the, the, the scarf thing, they had that, and they also had another scarf. It was like with little, it's not sequins. I guess it was studded. The studded scarf, they had that. There was also this pink situation. That's what I'm gonna call it. It was not nice. Y'all, I'm gonna be completely honest. I was completely disappointed about this because where was the men's stuff? When I tell y'all that the size of the place, like the size of the, of the, of the area where you could shop for the Raban H&M stuff was smaller than my living room. It had to be a, let's see, it was a, I'll say a 10 by 10 area. 10 feet by 10 feet, that's what you got. I wish I could have taken a video, but I was just so in shock about how small the area was. I thought it was this area and then the stuff around the way. No, that was just regular H&M stuff. This was the only thing for a bond. I'm telling you, this was such a disappointment. I can't believe it. But let me show you what I got that I'm gonna return. I'm gonna explain why I'm gonna return it. So I did get the military inspired jacket because I thought, okay, this is, it's a little gender fluid, you know, I, I can make this work. No, it's actually too small. It's way too small, actually. Very nice to a certain extent. I'm going to explain. Okay, so this is, the outside is made out of 100% wool and it feels wool. It's, it's heavy enough. It's, you know, substantial. The embroidery is very nice. Like the pattern and stuff, it's very nice. The sleeve, you see that? The sleeve is very nice. The front feels very Michael Jackson dangerous era, which I really like. It's just too small for me. And this is a large. And so I mean it's a women's large, but it's, it's a large. The extra large, I'm sure wouldn't have fit me either. It only went up to XL, by the way. And uh, the girl that got the XL, I know she's not gonna be able to fit it. That's how small the stuff was. Let me also talk about this jacket a little further. Some of the details in it, I don't know if you all can see this, but you see how it's a little frayed right there? You see that little thing right there? Yeah, I mean, that, that wasn't a fan of that. And then also, like, the red threading that you can see right at the top there. Why am I able to see that? That doesn't make any sense. You see, see that gap? That gap right there. It's not made well. I mean, it, it's, it looks great from a distance, but as you get up on it, it's like it's not made well. It's just not. 
Inside, you got a lot of R's and stuff. You can see all the R's, the monogram R's. It's, it's cool, I guess, right? But it's just not worth the price. Like, I originally saw this in, like, on a different website because I couldn't see the H&M website one. And I remember it being marked as $399.99. That's not how much this thing cost. This thing was $449. And it was not worth it. I have to say it was not worth it. I shall be returning this. Because I don't even think this would sell on resale, to be honest. Like it. And I'm looking at this even further. Like, can, can you see the frame? Maybe if I do like this, you can see threads pop up. See, you see the threads? You see the threads? I'm just really disappointed. Very disappointed. Now, I will be keeping my hanger. And I will be keeping my bag. As a reminder, just be leery about these collaborations. Like the ones that I've been to in the past, Balmain for H&M, amazing. Um, Mugler H&M, amazing. But Ravon, I don't know. Now they did say this, a lot of the stuff was still on the website. So I'm gonna try to see if I can access some of the men's stuff on the website, if I can. So Damson Idris had on this, right? It was gold. It's a polo shirt. Where is that on the website? I'm just wondering, where is that on the website? Was that actually a real Raban mainline thing? And like, is this false advertising? Like, what, what's going on? Come on now. Like, it's not even on the women's stuff. I don't know where Damson got that from, but um, I was thinking that that was going to be there, and it wasn't there. But anyway, y'all. Uh, I hope this was very informative. I hope you enjoyed this video. You enjoyed my misery of seeing this. I woke up real early in the morning for this to get nothing. It's amazing. It's ridiculous. It's okay. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. But anyway, y'all, I am Staccato Louvitz here. And, you know, you can leave me a comment. You can give me a like. Please give me a like, because I, I, I'm, I'm really disappointed. How cheer me up if you gave me a like. And don't forget to subscribe. I, I try to put out a video once a week, although I haven't recently, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna really try, y'all. Happy shopping to you all. If you are doing it online, please do it online. Fellas, women that wanna wear some men's clothes, um, non-binary folks, trans mask folks, all the folks that want some men's clothing. Don't go. I hope you didn't go. I really hope you didn't go. I really hope you didn't go and waste your time like I did. Because I doubt that other retailers like in New York or California, maybe Texas, I'm pretty sure the same thing happened. I'm almost certain. Also, also, I'm, before I go, there was no home stuff. The candle, the, the, the what do they call it? The, uh, the lamp. The shower curtain thing, none of that. None of it. None of it at all. The boots, none of it. Well, I think the boots were men's boots. No, there were some women's boots too. The furs, not there at all. Not there at all. I'm telling you, there was nothing there. Oh my God, I'm so disappointed. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video, okay?